so if you cast your mind back to earlier this year when we did the Cadwell Winter Sprint with Javelin, and we got to the event and then I discovered that the wing had broke on the car. This is the wing in question and this bit had snapped off. Now as you can see we have repaired this a couple of times over the year. Now I'm going to guess that vibration is what's killed and fatigued that material over the, the couple of years that we've been using that wing. Combination of obviously being towed to circuits, potholes, um, hitting the curbs etc. But anyway it's currently Tuesday. We're at time attack this weekend and at the minute the micro is still wingless so what we need to do is replace those uprights now had an idea in my head for a while now for a slightly different design so a couple of weeks ago we did a video on machining a rock cover plate for a honda k series on our shape oco now this is a plate for ilia for number chop 2.4 and if you remember we did like this cnc pocketing where we pocketed out the letters just to give it a bit of 3d detail so i've redesigned the wing this morning and this is what i've caught with i've added some additional material around all the bolt holes just so we've got a bit of extra material to put some strength in there and then all of the bits in purple are what we're going to pocket about two mil into the material so it'll help reduce a bit of weight of the material not that they weigh much anyway and just also just give it a bit of extra pizzazz and just be a, an, another nice little thing to to look on the car so uh, yeah we're going to go program that up we're going to go load some material onto the shape oco we're going to cut out the new profiles and then we can then put the, the wing back together on the car let's go Look at that, that would come out really well. Really, really happy with that. So as you see, we've got our little CNC pocket holes in there. I mean, I could have kept the full four mil width of material, but um, I believe, you know, we've, we've probably shaved a negligible amount of weight, let's be honest. But does it look cool as fuck? Absolutely. So, uh, just need to move some shite out of the way. We'll bring the micro down and uh, we'll get all these new parts on the car. Let's see how sick it looks. Don't they look sick? Nice bit of uh, additional detail with the pocket in. Makes it look like a nice little showpiece and functions at the same time. So yeah, really happy with how that's come out. So what we need to do now is disassemble the old wing. We're gonna reuse the cross brace, the, the uh, turn buffalo just as the wing and the end plates. I'm going to replace these with some new brackets because I, I have changed the design of how the adjuster goes on ever so slightly and these plates will do that and as you can see we've done a nice little matching pattern to suit and that will go on the blade like so and that'll look 
that looks sick when we've got all that on. So, uh, so get the old wing disassembled, get it reassembled on the new uprights. Gotta say, I am pretty happy with them. Uh, they've come out really sick. Really happy with how that's come out. Now, my only thing is, is I haven't got the materials to do it right now, but I think after seeing all of this detailing with the pocketing on the Shapeoko with the CNC, I really want to do this center crossbar with a similar design. This bit here, Looks good as well. Really happy with how that is. Now, I did make some slight changes. If you have bought one of these from our website, I have tailored this one to my car somewhat. Uh, the ones that you've got from the website are the wing from 2021. Um, so I have made some revisions to the wing since then, but um, yeah, I've just made this to suit to get the, the wing sort of just in regulations obviously we've got 100 mil from the roof here and we're about 100 mil at this particular point here but i need to adjust the brackets to reduce the uh the angle of attack so yeah so hopefully a nice short sweet video to keep the content flowing um, we're still working away on the car you know we've not got long now till rounds one and two a time attack uh, but yeah, video really to sort of demonstrate what you can do with one of these carbide shape Oco um, CNC routing machines. Um, fantastic basic of kit. Um, one of my purchases that I don't regret. So yeah, if you're thinking of buying one, don't hesitate. You know, we've got plenty of content on the channel which shows you what we've, what we've used this machine for on this car. And uh, if carbide's watching and you want to upgrade my machine to a new shape oco 5 get in touch i'm pretty sure we can make use of it so that's it and as always don't forget to drop a comment down below like share subscribe and of course don't forget to tell your nan